episode 33 of the Jez and Friends podcast. Today's episode is a bit different. So leading up to the Good Friday appeal, I thought it would be great to discuss wonderful things about all the volunteers, staff and others who do so much to make sick kids at the Royal Children's Hospital lives just that 1% better. Now let's go through the incredible stuff the people at the Royal Children's Hospital do and a few stories that will inspire you things off with a personal anecdote of my experience at the Royal Children's Hospital. It would have been a week before Christmas 2019. Just got back from a two-month leadership camp where I learned so much, yet I overcame so much adversity and things took a toll when I got home. I remember waking up at 2am in the morning, yeah like, like I said before, a week before Christmas, literally being out of breath, struggling to breathe. I remember waking up at 2am in the morning, being out of breath, struggling to breathe. Suddenly I was rushed to the Royal Children's Hospital to get some tests. Turns out it was a panic attack and the staff there were so supportive and reassured me I was alright. Got some tests done and was out in the morning. From there it took time and effort to improve my breathing, eating and sleeping habits and overall my mental state. So blessed to have overcome a tough time in my life which was about a year and a half ago. I mean, get out the other side, a better version of me. Some kids don't choose to be in hospital, but face the harsh and loneliness of having life-saving surgeries and countless days spent away from friends, family, and school. This is an important week, and I hope this raises awareness and we can help raise more funds including the annual Good Friday game being played between my Kangas, North Melbourne, and the Western Bulldogs Football Club. Um, there, lots of money are going to be raised towards a Good Friday appeal. Um, and yeah, let's talk about where the money will go towards, because it goes towards a whole array of things, not just one thing, um, which some people think. Um, so first of all the parts of the money goes towards research, um, as you all know, um, to find cures for serious diseases such as brain tumours, cancers, um, to fund medicine and clinical trials as well. Um, lots of money goes into research because some cures are discovered purely off research and clinical trials and a lot of money goes towards that and finding a cure to these horrible diseases. Um, another portion of money goes towards buying better equipment um, and tech for like to better the patients. For example, um, enhanced equipment um, for like less radiation for chemo. Um, generally, better hospital beds because um, sometimes the beds can be pretty uncomfortable. Um, and also um, equipment for like surgeons for surgeries. This could be to make surgeries easier and um, more efficient, less time as well. Um, some money also goes towards patient and family-centered care. So both the children who are being treated and their families can be accommodated for, making everyone feel like they're an integral part of um, the hospital and the care. Um, and other areas where money raised also goes towards like education and training so the Royal Children's Hospital can have the most qualified and trained staff to help make a greater impact for the children. Um, now I'm going to share a few few of the success stories from um, the Royal Children's Hospital patients who have come out the other side, a better version, um, and cured from their um, struggles. So I hope it... Um, gives you a bit of a smile and makes you contemplate what they've been through and um, how they're living their lives now, um, which I find pretty moving as well. So the first person is Henry, so he's learning to walk again after having a complex spinal surgery to treat muscle tightness from cerebral palsy that aims to see him pain-free. To be able to put one foot in front of the other, Henry Bryant is learning to walk all over again. That's honestly amazing. Um, it takes a lot of effort to learn to walk again, especially through so much treatment. Um, and props to him for 
um, continuing this inspirational journey. Henry is also four years old and has proved that every hurdle he's up for the challenge. Good on him. Henry is putting all his determination into intensive rehab after complex spinal surgery to treat muscle tightness from cerebral palsy, but is aiming to see him pain-free and moving more freely. Five, uh, we're moving on to the next story now, um, which is um, a young athletics um, possible future Paralympian, Kira Wright, um, who five years ago was learning to walk again. Today, she's aiming for gold, which is honestly amazing. The 11-year-old's goal is to compete at the 2024 Paralympic Games in Paris, which is in three years' time. So she'd be 14 competing in the Paralympic Games, which is honestly astounding. Um, and props to her as well for the journey she's been through. Um, and also, despite like having had a stroke at the age of two and three major brain surgeries, she's full of grit and determination needed to get there. Well done to her. Kira is a state and national cross-country runner and a budding long jump contestant. And is being mentored by Olympian Brooke Stratton. She has a chest of medals to her name and already running ahead of her older peers. But it hasn't always been so positive for the grade 6 people. Good on her for They're like fighting so hard um, through countless surgeries and proving that she can be an Olympian um, winning state and national cross countries. Which I'm striving to do and she's 100% a lot better runner than I am. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing to see how Kira and um, Henry have put so much effort into their recovery and have benefited so much off the Royal Children's Hospital. Um, hopefully next week I can also try and get together a group of students and teachers at MAC to do like a fun run early next week and donate with the run with all proceeds going to the Good Friday Appeal. Um, if you'd like to donate, head over to the goodfridayappeal.com.au to donate um, and help this wonderful cause, which has been going strong for more than 90 years, and celebrate everything and it, everyone with their efforts to help the kids. Um, I know vi this has been like a different episode without a guest. Um, obviously, I'm talking quite, um, speaking some good words about the Good Friday Appeal because. Um, it, it's an important cause um, supporting sick kids who really need it the most. Um, and I encourage everyone to literally dig deep um, and donate. Um, if you're going over footy between North and Doggies, there'll be tins around um, the ground. And I encourage everyone to donate. Um, yeah, just thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this week's episode for an important cause, of course, for Good Friday Appeal. Um, and all the funds raised will go towards an incredibly worthy um, place, going strong for over 90 years now. Hashtag run for the kids, hashtag kick for the kids. Um, guys, last thing, I've said it about a few times now, but dig deep, um, please donate. There's a link in my bio as well to donate to the Good Friday Appeal. And um, hopefully I can get an event running for our school next week. Um, and if you'd like to get involved, please DM me. Um, and link will, everything will be in the show notes in my bio. So appreciate it and I'll see you next week.